Hey you, what is going on YouTube? This is Robert and today I am bringing you to the full drop list for this week, which is week three of the spring summer season. Now, I'll be honest, I'm recording this very late. I'm going to be going on holiday and as of that, there's been some weather changes in the UK, uh, which means that I'm having to move everything up by like a day, uh, basically. So I was going to record this tomorrow, instead I'm not. So, yep, yeah. I've got everything. Clear enough, I've just not packed properly, so yeah, but it's just the fact that I need to edit uh, another video as well and just get a couple of other things sorted, but anyway, let's just get into this drop list anyway. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, so obviously you may or may not be able to tell, obviously by the jacket being behind me and a couple of things being about, the rest of the room's a bit of a tip, uh, but you can't see that, it's, it's a travesty, it's terrible, and I don't know why, but the brightness is really messing up, uh, so regardless, we're just going to get straight into this drop list because this week, we've got North Face. Typically when I say that, a lot of people be like, yeah, let's go. I'm taking this jacket off of him. <laughs> it can go on the ground, doesn't matter. Um, yeah, typically you'll be like, yeah, let's go. No, not really. Not really for this week, I'll be honest. I, I took a gander, I went through. Oof, God, it is something else. Typically when we're like, yeah, it's, it's not great, you know, there's, there's some substance behind that and some reasoning, but with this, it just, it really just isn't great. Like, really isn't. Um, but the top item for this week is going to be the singing machine. So, yeah, karaoke. Or don't, you know, don't, you know, prestige worldwide, you know, <laughs> don't. Uh, we can move straight on to three of the North Face pieces being the printed pocket tee or misprinted uh, as people have called it because it's off center in comparison to where the pocket is. Colorways are perfectly fine, but you know, it's just one of those things. We've got the convertible sweat pant, which personally is going to be my favorite piece from the whole collection, purely because of the fact that you go from sweatpants into shorts and they all look pretty decent uh, as shorts. All of the colorways I think are perfectly fine, specifically olive and gray, I think are probably the better two, but the ones that are more, you know, going to, or more so going to sell out would be more so the black and the light blue, but it's just one of those things. But personal preference, central two colorways. Yeah, I think this is great. Uh, from there, we have the convertible hoodie. We then go downhill, personally, I don't like gilets. I hardly wear them. The only time I have worn them is for like golf, that's it, I'm not really a gilet person or, you know, a vest person. The colorways are fine, I like the colorways, it's just that I don't really see a point to it being like this, uh, but it's just one of those things. So yeah, those are the good pieces <laughs> from the collaboration. Now let's get into the bad, the good, the bad, the ugly. Uh, we've got a military camp cap, which I think is perfectly fine in comparison to what's further down the list. This is great, you know. <laughs> um, yeah, let's get on with the North Face. So, printed Montana mitt is going to be the first one. And it'll probably be like, printed? What's that? Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe they were going for the look of if you fold a shirt or if you fold something, it leaves creases in it. This is the end result. I don't really know what they're going for. They chose decent colorways. It's just, I don't know where the, the idea was going with it. I can't really figure it out. Uh, we then have the high pile fleece long sleeve top, uh, which yeah, as you can see, I'm not that much of a hater of, I'll be honest, because it reminds me a lot of some of the Uniqlo things that they've uh, released in the past. It gives me the same sort of vibe as that. It's just that it's gonna have a little bit of a high retail. In terms of colorways, that looks like a carpet, actually. No, uh, so does that. Looks like a rug. Um, <laughs> In terms of colorways, I'd probably say it's just the solid tone of like blacks and greys is the best. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that now that I'm looking at it up close. Uh, from there, we can move on to a Cordura Ripstop S logo uh, six panel. Perfectly fine, cool, clean colorways. Green is a personal favorite. That's about it. We then have a baggy jean dropping. Standard sort of piece. Uh, to match the high pile uh, top, we have the short. Yeah, I don't know now. Now, now that I've actually looked at it up close, it kind of changes my uh, <laughs> changes my view on it. Um, mm. You have to put a pin in that one and come back to it. We then have the Nups, Nupsy jacket. Yeah, I just, I really don't know, I'll be honest. I don't know where they were going with it. I really don't. Shattered ice. 
frozen. I, it just looks like it's creased. It really does. And people have already given their opinions as to what else it looks like, so we can move on from that. Uh, we have a shadow plaid flannel shirt. The black colorway is the main colorway that interests me. The blue tones are fine, but I just think that's okay. We then have the Stronger Than Fear hoodie. I like the front tone to this and the brown colorway. I think it looks decent in, but that's about it. We've got the printed tape seam shell jacket. <sighs> yeah, again, colorway is really good. I just don't know what the design was going for. You might as well just release blank ones, or maybe it's because you didn't want to release blank ones that you released these. So yeah, we then have a faux Sherlin uh, hooded jacket. Not bad. I think black colorway is the best in it. I do like more like tan, like brownie cream sort of tones when it comes to pieces like this, specifically because the faux just stands out a bit more. But I just think all black in this is the best. We then have the printed Borealis backpack. Yep. Uh, Personally, I'd probably say black colorway is decent. All of the colorways probably look perfectly fine. In the backpack, I think they probably look best in the backpack. It's just, I don't know what they were going with with the design. Uh, we have the high pile fleece beanie. Um, mm. Yeah, I feel like it might be a bit warm unless the inside to it, we don't get to see the inside to it. Yeah, it could be a bit of a warm one. I don't know about that. I do not know. I'm typically a beanie fan when it comes to North Face Supreme ones, but don't know about that. Uh, we've got the Cordura Ripstop Crusher to obviously go with the other Cordura Ripstop piece that we're getting this week. Yeah, again, colorways are fine, but I just prefer it in the, the hat, basically. We've got the beaded applique cardigan. Yeah, yeah. Uh, at the bottom item for this week is going to be the North Face printed mountain pattern. I, I just, I don't know. I like the colorways, I really do. I just don't know where they were going with it. I really don't. Like, it looks like you've either got, like, flour or you've worked on, like, a building site and you've gone to, like, you know, rub your legs and such and just, just wipe it off your hands and I just don't know. I really don't. I, yeah, I don't know. I really don't know. Um, but that is going to cover the drop list for this week. So, going over it, personally for me, the piece that actually stands out the most is the Cordura Ripstop S Logo 6 panel. Personally, in the green tone, I just like it. It just looks clean. I, I do. That's that's about as basic as it gets. Oh no, I don't like that material though, looking up close actually. Mm. Green colorway still wins my vote, but I don't like that material. I'm glad I looked at that up close. <laughs> uh, other than that, for the rest of the week, I don't really know. Personally, I would say that I'd get like a T. <sighs> God. Um, yeah, I don't know about that one. I, I really don't know what I'd actually be going for this week, to be honest. I did want to do a live cop this week, I'll be honest, because I will be on a flight during the drop. Uh, whether or not I have internet or not, that's another story. But whether I want any of this, I don't really. Military camp cap? No, I don't think I do. Well, I'll still probably possibly be going over the drop and looking at it while I'm on a flight. So, yeah, you know. 35,000 feet live cop or 35,000 foot live cop? Probably not. Not at all. Um, but yeah, that is going to cover this video regardless. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. What you think of the North Face collaboration. What you think of it compared to prior collaborations uh, with the North Face. <sighs> yeah, it's just one of those things. Sometimes it's a hit. Sometimes it's a miss. I say a couple of the pieces are okay, but I just don't get the whole design idea that they've gone for or printed look that they've gone for. But yeah, that is going to cover it for me anyway, so I hope you have a good rest of your day, and I will see you all next time. Peace.